Hey guys, Martina here, and today we are talking about Mayer Berger, a name that has not been very well known by many solar professionals or homeowners, but one that seems will do some damage in the coming years, or so we hope so. <laughs> I interviewed them during the Intersolar Europe, and if you want to just watch that interview, feel free to skip. But since we don't know much about this company, of course, I would not be myself if I didn't do some more research for you and tell you more about them. So even though we haven't heard much about this brand, it looks like they were founded in 1953, so 70 years ago, and they are a Swiss company. They started by making machines for the watch industry. You know those Swiss those Swiss watches are good watches, right? I even was told by someone that they made a machine for the Rolex company, but I don't know if that's true, you tell me. They have been a very solid machine manufacturer, and then in 1999, they launched the first power saw for the solar industry. As the solar industry grew, they started opening offices in Europe, Asian, and American markets, and after 2010, they focused on covering the entire production of modules, so the wafers, cells, and panels, and putting it all together. And they were also producing their machines to do so. The most significant product was their diamond wire saw that was cutting ultra thin wafers as well as the machine to later on put the modules together. They pioneered the HJT or heterojunction technology, hence they are so similar to REC and Panasonic panels. So I'm very curious to see how they play out in the coming years. Those definitely will be another premium panels, which I'm actually very excited about. There are so many standard options out there and very little premium options. I mean, we have our Panasonic and REC, which are literally identical. <laughs> then you have your Axion that are impossible to get and very, very expensive, but now we'll also have Mayer Burger. This will definitely have a good impact on the premium side of modules because the more competition, the better the price for us. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. I will be extremely grateful. And now let's get on with the interview. We've been walking and walking and we stopped at Meyer Burger. This is a new panel brand for coffee because we heard they have good coffee. All right, Michelle. So tell me, maybe let's start. Who is Meyer Burger? <laughs> yeah, great question. It's a cool name, by the way. Oh, thank you. So, and I love the logo. <laughs> ah, thank you. We do yeah. too. So Meyer Burger is actually two individuals, Mr. Meyer and Mr. Burger. Okay. Uh, company has started 70 years ago. Whoa. Yeah, 70 years ago, right? And we've always been in the manufacturing of equipment okay. side of things. And then about 40 years in the solar industry or the PV industry, which is really unique. And then most recently, we're now into module oh. and cell manufacturing yes. here in Germany. I'm in Germany right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I was just going to ask you, because we've heard the company name for many, many years, yes. but it was more so under in the production production side of things. That's right. Not really doing their own panels, right? So why did you decide to do that? Yeah, great question. So we've got a few different patented technologies that we're very proud of. Yeah. And it's not just uh, that we have a lot of the um, drive behind hetero junction technology, mm -hmm. but we also have patented smart wire connection, which is inside of the panel. Okay. So we just decided, hey, why don't we bring that to the table and make our own panels instead? Okay. We already own all this technology, might as well do it ourselves. Okay, yeah, no, that sounds good. So I, the, the interesting thing that I've seen over here is that these panels are actually made in Germany. <laughs> made in Germany, yes. And that's not very heard of. You know, you hear of panels being manufactured in America where a lot of the times there is parts coming from different places and just the last assemble happens in America, so not American made, but how is this working here? Made so, in Germany, designed in Switzerland? Yeah, no, all great questions. So let's start with the Germany part, yeah. right? So not only are our panels made in Germany, but the cell manufacturing is also here in Germany, which is probably the most unique thing about Meyer Burger. So yeah. outside of Asia, it's us, right? So we're making our own cells, and we're manufacturing. Wait, wait, so basically what you just said is like on a global scale, your company is the only solar cell manufacturer outside of Asia. Outside of Asia. Okay. Yeah, on the industry scale. Yeah, yeah on the industry like global, scale. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow. 
Yeah, that's what makes us so unique and different. Yeah, and the panels look great. I mean, you can tell this is German quality. <laughs> Absolutely. So one of the other questions you asked about was, I think you pointed out the design in Switzerland. Yeah. So yeah, we're headquartered in Switzerland. We're actually traded on the Swiss stock market, uh -huh. and then all the manufacturing's here in Germany. And then okay. for our U.S. market, you're able to get the panels now available in the U.S. Okay. Straight all here from Germany. All U.S. listing, everything. You got good it. To go. Now, are we? Because that. Based on my opinion and kind of the the, sol the solar U.S. market, we kind of have our premium panels and our standard panels. You know, no you're going to see premium, right? I here. was going to ask if this is what if this is what you're trying to achieve. Like, are we talking competing with REC? In the past, LG, obviously, they're out of that business now. Yes. No, you're you're right on track. We're absolutely going to be in that high-quality premium, premium tier panel. product. Absolutely. So that's the panel I really want to test. <laughs> We're going to see. Up, right. If you get a chance, I think you guys should go check out uh, uh -huh. our testing video on the other side of this tiny house. Okay. All right. So another question I have is about durability and warranty. because. I already saw this says that it's 30 year warranty, which I'm always yep, right there. I'm always very skeptical when it comes to very long term warranties because a lot of new companies that come out with panels offer 30 year warranties just to get out there. See, here's what's great. We're 70 years old. I was gonna say we're twice as old <laughs> as our warranty, which yeah. is I think one of the other reasons that makes us so unique. And that's that why you could have put yes. that warranty as Yeah, years. absolutely. We're twice as old as our own warranty. Now, what is your, what, what, when we talk about warranty, we're talking 30 years product, we're product, parts, and labor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so REC is really getting a big competitor over here. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, yeah. You know, might as well come back to the original manufacturers of the, not the original, but the people One who of the drove, first, yeah. yeah, the yeah. heterojunction technology into what everybody now sees in the market. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, cool. So I feel like the next thing we really want to do is we need to buy, not from you, buy from a distributor, eight of these and test them in our facility and see whether or not all that beautiful words is actually true. I'm super excited for you to be able to do that because certainly <laughs> we do extensive amount of testing. We go well above and beyond whatever the minimum standards are. Yeah. And we do those either in-house or through uh, a second party to be able to do anything from fire testing, hail testing, yeah. you know, uh, weight testing against yeah. uh, loads, everything. So I'm excited for you to be able to do it because certainly, you know, I, hopefully people see our stuff and yes. say, yeah, this is awesome. But it's yeah. great when you show it. Yeah, it's, you know, you always want to see third party, somebody that's not paid. Like, I don't want them yeah. to give us any panels for free. We're going to buy them yeah. and then we're going to test them. And then the viewer is going to decide whether or not this panel is as good as they make it. Oh, <laughs> you'll be fine. Yes. So one of the coolest things that we didn't get to talk about okay, that yeah. I really want to bring up is we are opening up a plant inside of Goodyear, Arizona. So that is coming soon. We've got the building. The facility will be a bit built out in the next probably year or so, maybe okay. year and a half. We are bringing manufacturing to the U.S., which is like maybe one of the coolest things that we're well, super excited about. What, what that makes me think of is that extra 10% for the made in USA panels. I don't know if you know, with the 30% tax credit, homeowners can get that extra 10% if most of the panel is made in the USA. So that's true. I don't know if that's going to be the case here with with Mayor Burger, but hopefully so, because that would bring you a big advantage as far as. Yeah, absolutely. Homeowners we're, asking we're for the product. We're going to module and we'll take it from there. Yeah, yeah. All right, sounds good. So good to meet you. Oh, so great to meet you. Thanks for coming over. Thank yeah. you guys so much. If you want to check out more, go to MeyerBurger.com. So listen, all said and done, the two largest technologies that are out there uh -huh. are going to be Monoperp, which is by and large yes. the majority of panels uh -huh. out there, right? That, that because it's been around the longest. Um, that is, but it's also the older technology. Yeah. That's that's where you're kind of capped. The newer technology is heterojunction technology. Okay. There are smaller other technologies out there, but as far as what you're looking at in the PV, you know, industry, there's there's two. Yeah. HJT, smaller mount, mono perk, larger mount. The difference with HJT, heterojunction technology, uh -huh. is that it's a different layering process inside of the cell. And that layering process allows just more production, typically earlier in the morning and later in the evening. So in poor uh, or so, low light conditions. Yeah. So let me ask you this, because we, right now, 
I, I, I get what you're saying and that's where we should test it. So we could essentially put this against a 400 watt panel and see, we often do. And see how it performs next to one. Yeah. So when you compare like a heterojunction against a mono perk, yeah. especially if you're taking even like a 385 yeah. heterojunction versus a 400 watt um, mono perk, over the life of the system, you are going to give more production to that homeowner yeah. with heterojunction technology. The reason that happens is for uh, time and temperature. Yeah. So let me explain time because it counts twice. Uh, it's going to be producing earlier in the morning uh -huh. and it's going to be producing later in the evening. Yeah. So when you compare it against the mono perk, you these, have that these guys are trip. turning on yeah. in early sunlight, yeah. low uh, sunrise or yeah. sunset. And then the other time is degradation. So when you look at most mono perk panels, so the degradation on most mono perks is going to be somewhere between 80 and 85 percent. And do you know about degradation? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So ours is 92 percent. I had year 25. Yes. Okay. So you know. So just like REC. So yes. <laughs> uh, that's good. So that's why I asked. Like, is that going to be like when we quote customers, you quote them a premium and a standard, right? This will fall into the premium quote versus. Yes. Yeah. You know your Trina, Jinko. Yeah, yes, yeah, certainly. And we're and pricing wise, we'll be in line in in the U.S. Uh, we'll be right in line with kind of whatever you're seeing with REC pricing. We're yeah. gonna be right in there. We never like to quote just for a variety. So we, we don't ever quote prices because it's ultimately not up to us. It's up to the installers and it's up to yeah. the distributors. And yeah. it's also gonna range based on volume and location, yeah. right? But all said and done, where we're gonna be in the same exact price range as RECs are being priced yeah. out in the, in the market right now. Yeah. So, absolutely. And the testing is gonna be important. Well, big time. But yeah. I mean, that it's more than power inside of a panel. Yeah. And if you understand why oh, it's more it than is, power, right. it's about time, temperature, and power. All three variables. And every, I would say assembly, everything, the way they're well, I used to yeah, think that a 400, yeah. yeah. I, 400 watt panel is equal to 400 watt panel. And then we tested eight brands yep. and it's uh, it's a huge difference. So Okay, so let me get temperature for you real yes. quick as well. So mm -hmm. the other thing about- Temperature uh, coefficients is what yeah. you're getting. Yeah, 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 exactly. So that means like if you took a standard mono perk panel and put it on a roof and let's call it Arizona since our plant's yeah, gonna yeah, be yeah. here in Arizona. On those extremely hot days, on those extremely hot days in the middle of the summer, those panels will actually stop not full on stop performing, but they won't be performing at their peak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mono perk performs best in the springtime and in the fall when those temperatures are not at high heat. That's where our panel comes into play. Yeah. So when you throw it into like an Arizona middle of summer, we're actually performing better. We can, I think, uh, internal jokes like, you know, our panels don't sweat. You know, basically yeah, yeah, yeah. like it can get hot and we're fine. Just like if you're. What's the temperature coefficient rating on the P max? You know. I don't know if it's it on the, it probably won't say it here. It's on the cell sheet, and I'm sorry, I don't yeah. just know it off the top of my head. Yeah. Um, but it is a sexy panel, I'm not gonna lie. It really is. Uh, yeah, it is. You should, I mean, this is cool because this is what we have in the US, but it's really neat to take a look at what's coming. So, like the glass, 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 right glass. There. Yeah, we're going to look at that one. Oh, wow. Oh wow! <laughs> so basically, it does, we've taken off the plastic uh, back sheet, uh, the, the back sheet yeah. and replaced it with glass. So glass on glass, and yeah. it's bifacial, right? So yeah. because it's bifacial, that means that the sun can pass through the cell and, and produce. Yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, you know yeah. what you're talking yeah. about. Right. <laughs> By making it clear, it then reflects off whatever is behind yeah. it. So whether that's the ground, like grass, because it's yeah. on a ground mount, whether that's the roof, whether yeah. whatever's behind it, it's going to bounce off and yeah, yeah, yeah. impact even more. <laughs> So this, this show is very busy, as you can see. <laughs> no, but if, if I can stop you, Michelle, for just a second. This is a perfect example of what I like to talk about when it comes to Texas big land and having uh, your system on a ground mount rather than on a rooftop. And the solution in that case is to use bifacial panels because just like Michelle said, these panels have glass on both sides. So any, any sun rays that hit the ground and reflect back from the yes. grass, hit the panel, and improve the production significantly. So, so that's why 
what the power wattage of a panel is is only one factor. You have yeah. to go into yeah. time and temperature yeah. in order to fully understand what you're getting yeah. for your system. So, yeah, and we yeah. should definitely test that too. Like, how 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 high can we get with those? By facial panels, when it comes to you know having them at a cer cer certain angle, maybe we should even put like foil underneath. Hey, <laughs> try a bunch of things. You I know? love that. Yeah, see what, see how high we can get over the rated power output. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All awesome. right. Awesome. Thank you. Yes. I'm so excited. She's really cool. Just a cool person. So. <laughs> Likewise. <laughs> So behind me, <laughs> you can see a bifacial panel, and this is the panel that I like to talk to customers that want to get a ground mount. If you are uh, in Texas and you have a lot of land, or anywhere else in America and you have a lot of land, getting a ground mount system might be more beneficial because you can direct it perfect south, and on top of that, you can get bifacial panels that have glass on glass. Let me get over here. <laughs> glass on glass technology that. Um, We'll get some more production out from the sun rays hitting the ground and hitting the panels back from the bottom.